Charvette Mitchell, Creative Director for Mitchell Productions Web Design and Social Media Coaching, where we help you build something amazing. And today I wanted to do a quick video on how to create a circle picture using PicMonkey.com. So let's jump over to PicMonkey.com. PicMonkey.com is a great tool that allows you to edit pictures, create graphics, and all of that good stuff. So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna click on Edit. Edit will allow you to bring in a picture that we can actually edit and turn into a circle picture. So I'm just going to select computer, which will bring up images on my computer, and I'm going to grab an image and open that up. And you see, PicMonkey will put the image that we selected right here in the middle of the screen. What I want you to do is go over to the left-hand side, and you're gonna actually click on the frames option on the left-hand menu. Once you click on the frames option, you want to select the very first option, which is shape cutouts. When you click on shape cutouts, guess what? The first option is a circle and it puts your picture into a circle cutout immediately. And you actually at this point can apply the changes and download this picture. But before you do that, let me just show you some other things you can do. So you can actually make the size of the circle smaller if you want to. You can also move the image, the circle around. So let's say you wanna put text over here or you wanna put text over to the right side, you can change the actual circle. And you also have the option of changing the background of the circle of your image. So if you want to use it to make a social media graphic, a blog graphic, a graphic for your website, you have that option. But you know what I always recommend is that you at least download the transparent option because then that will allow you to put this picture on top of other graphics that you may need. See, simple and easy. You simply click on apply, which is the green button, and that will save all of your changes. And then up here at the top, you wanna to click on save, and that will allow you to adjust the dimensions if you need to, and then you're able to save to your computer. And there you have it. You're all done and you're all finished. All right, that's your tutorial for today. Again, check me out at charvettemitchell.com where we bring you phenomenal content all the time. Have a great day.